And now's your chance to get out and enjoy some of that music from the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Rachel Menatoff explains how you can catch a concert. The BSO is taking its show outside of the Meyerhof and bringing it into the community. And you'll be able to hear some of the classical favorites paired with pop music, all specially arranged for this very occasion. This is where you typically see a performance by the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. The Meyerhof is an iconic building between Midtown and Mount Vernon, but now the BSO is trying out some other spots. You know, sometimes the community wants the orchestra to come to them. So that's what they're doing. It's part of a concert series called Symphony in the City, conducted by Jonathan Rush of the BSO. Why do we struggle to say thanks? And he'll be joined by artistic partner, Wordsmith. A lot of times people don't think they have access to the orchestra, especially if they have to come to the orchestra hall and think they have to dress up in tuxes. But when the orchestra comes out to the community, it gives them an opportunity to see something that they might have not seen before. The concerts kicked off at New Shiloh Baptist Church in honor of Black History Month and will continue at the B&O Railroad Museum on April 26th and in Patterson Park on June 1st. Classical music is a beautiful form of music, but we know we got to touch the kids as well. We got to build that bridge to the kids, and one way we can do that is play music that they're used to hearing. With this idea in mind, the shows will combine classical music with hip hop and pop hits of today. And I think with Symphony in the City, that's something I personally would love to see is that mix of I'm enjoying this beautiful piece, but oh, now I can put my hands in the air and rock to this, you know, particular song. So. And these next two upcoming performances, they are free to the community, and you can reserve tickets online on the BSO website. I'm Rachel Benetoff in Baltimore for WJZ.